is Kru Karat. This is his gym in Bangkok. This is how you learn real true technique and having complete control of everything is this no equipment checking. So if I teep, he steps over to the side as he parries. He says, don't step back, you lose distance. If you step to the side, you take away the angle of the teep and you've set yourself up to counter. So he's saying you have to be ready to counter all the time. So you don't just move the leg, you want to be able to strike back and then you anticipate them interrupting your strike back so that you can immediately go again. It becomes this like revolving door of movement and strikes. It's basically the same fundamental movement has all of these options off of it. He just moves ever so slightly out of the way, but not so far that he can't still reach on that counter kick. And then he just kind of melts his stomach back. He's not sucking in, he's just like turning his body into a C. Look at his back leg and how his front leg kind of skips back just enough. It's just his back foot and then he slightly bends at the waist but not a lot. He's not taking huge steps back. He's just barely getting out of the way. He wants you to look in the opponent's eyes. I cannot do this. He's like, if you look the opponent in the eye, you can see the entire picture. You can glance down for a second at what you're going to hit so that you can hit your target, but then you look straight back in the eyes. <laughs> see how I'm staring at his hips because that's where I'm going to teep? He knows where I'm going to go because I'm looking at it. He said it's like a tiger. That's the energy he's calling when he's looking at his opponent's eyes. It's like a tiger. It's like he's completely sure. So the way that he was dodging with his face on my punch, he's saying it's the same with your leg. You just pull it back just enough and then it pops right back into place. <laughs> if you... If you step back the way he just was, with his butt back where he's like running backwards, they're not going to kick. But if you look like you're going to stay where you are and just dodge barely out of the way, you get them to kick. You get them to bring their weapon out, but it doesn't land on you. He really emphasized this thing that you only ever do the same thing twice, and then you change up on the third one because it catches the opponent off guard. He's like, it's not going to hurt the first time you hit the leg. But if they don't know you're going to hit it, it hurts a lot more because they can't prepare for it. They can't flex. And people are always anticipating that you're going to have a pattern. People tend to do like two or three strikes and then they stop. So your third is not only unexpected, but it's going to land. He's like, the more you do, the more those later ones are going to land. He's like, the opponent thinks you're done already, <laughs> so don't stop. <laughs> one, and counter back. Two, counter back. Third one, he's going to change. See how he went up to my head? So by the second one, you're like, oh, it's going to be a kick game. Like, I know how this is going to go. And then by the third one, right when they're getting comfortable, you throw something that they're not expecting. So he's saying... You have to put all your weight on your standing leg. I'm getting pushed off balance because I'm putting some weight still on the leg that's caught. There's no reason to divide it. My leg is caught by him. It needs absolutely no weight on it unless I'm going to be putting all my weight to push it down. He puts all his weight on his standing leg and then look at how much control he has for his punch. That part I've seen, the uppercut I have not. <laughs> he said he was good at this in fights. Oh. He's even using his standing foot to generate power for that uppercut. Then see how he twists his foot? See how he puts his heel towards me so that he has complete stability? So now he wants me to throw his leg. See how he doesn't go? If he has weight on his front leg, on his caught leg, he's going to spin. Here, this is so cool. When they try to throw your leg, you kick again. As I'm throwing his leg, he's kicking again in the air. 
and it gives him complete control of that leg. That's how he puts all his weight on his standing leg. I could feel it. That's incredible. That is a monster secret technical key. That thing, if you learn nothing else, that is an amazing technique to take from this.